Sometimes we need to add a little bit of contrast in a portrait photo, either on the entire photo or on a specific part of the photo. And of course you might think, well, to add contrast, we go to image, adjustments, brightness, contrast, and affect the contrast there. And obviously that does make a bit more of a contrast in the photo. The darks get darker, the lights get lighter. And if you go to the left, you kind of have a more flat looking photo. However, a better way to add some contrast that's a lot more customizable is to either use a layer blending mode with a new layer or to use an adjustment layer. So go ahead and open up some photo that you think needs a little bit more contrast. And first step is you just press Control J on the keyboard or Command J on the Mac, Control J on the PC. That'll duplicate the layer. Then change the layer blending mode up at the top, near the top of the layers panel, and change that to soft light and it adds a lot of contrast throughout. And if you think that's too much, you can adjust the opacity right here. Bring it down a little bit. You can also add a mask. So if you hold Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac and click the Add New Layer Mask icon on the bottom of the Layers panel, that adds a layer mask, but instead of it being white, it's filled with black by default. So because we held down Alt or Option when we created it, now it, you, we can see through to the bottom layer. However, we want to selectively bring back specific areas, so choose the brush tool and choose a nice soft edge brush, hardness set to zero, and then we want to paint white so it brings back some of those pixels. So if you just click and drag, for example, if we wanted to bring more contrast in the iris, we could do that. The irises, we could bring back more contrast, say you want more contrast in the hair, and it would just selectively bring it back. And I can Alt or Option click the mask and we can see what it looks like there. So that's a lot more contrast in the irises of the model. Another way to add contrast to a photo, I'm going to go ahead and delete that new layer. And I'll still press Control J. I like to work on a duplicated layer. And then create a new adjustment layer on the bottom of the layers panel and click Curves. And on curve, sometimes we do this manually, but there is a preset that can be pretty helpful here when we want to add contrast. Just on preset, click that and go to strong contrast. And it might be a little bit much, so we can, of course, adjust the opacity of this adjustment layer. Or we can adjust the effect itself. So we have, by default, this kind of S-curve here. And we can click and drag it over so it's maybe not as strong something like that. So there's before and there's after. And just like with the other technique, we could mask this out and just let specific areas have higher contrast. So let's just say we wanted the irises to have more contrast or even the whole eye. What we could do, it already has a mask. You can see this adjustment layer. So we need to fill it with black. So make sure your foreground color is set to black. If it's not, you can press D and that'll make white the foreground and black the background. Then you can press X and it'll flip them or just click the foreground color and drag it to black. And we need to make sure this mask is selected up here. Then press Alt Backspace on the PC or Option Delete on the Mac and that masks out that entire effect. So it's as if the effect isn't applied, but make sure the foreground color is set to white. So hit X again and choose a soft edge brush and then you can paint in specific areas of white and that will let that effect show through only where we're painting. So if we just click and drag here, click and drag there, let's say we wanted more contrast in the entire eye area, including the eyelashes or just the iris. Or if you think the lips should have more contrast, you can click and drag there and there's before and there's after. So that's adding contrast in a portrait photo, either to the entire photo or selectively, either using a layer blending mode, such as soft light on a duplicated layer, or using a curves adjustment layer and then selectively masking it out so it applies in specific areas.